how we're doing today. Well, today I'm working backwards because I recorded this all yesterday and just went to upload it. Well, I went to edit it and I lost it all. <laughs> so I'm going to show you basically what I did in reverse. So take it all apart to um, finish it up. But I installed a little digital readout for my table. It's under the shield I made, and that came out pretty good too. And I mounted it on that side, the chuck side of the table, because on the other side is my gib adjustment screws and lock screws. And no matter how I tried, I couldn't get it to work on this side. I tried every design I could think of. I tried moving this lock out and putting the scale right above it, but you're talking just, you know, just a teeny bit off. It was too raised. So I had to go on the chuck side and basically by the research on this machine. That's what you have to do when there's not enough room. And I had to lose a little table travel to fit this scale. The next size up would have been too big for the table. So I've been waiting to buy one since I had this machine. And I basically would mark my table with marks of where I use it, my travel, so I could see if I needed any more. And I never went for, you know, I didn't put um, stops on the table so I don't even crash the scale. So that's, there's a positive stop there. And you can see the mark at the table here, but underneath of the table, I put another positive stop. So. As you can see there, that's plenty of uh, movement for what I use, and it is basically meant, this one bolt right there does hold the, you know, the reader on, so if I do, for lathe work, I'll never have to move it more than that. If I do need it for the mill, all I have to do is take out that one square I designed so it just comes right out. That's why I designed so you can get to it. So. What I do, I'll set up the camera and I take this pot and show you how I did it. So there's a readout out there. It's in, you know, it's the typical Chinese one metric. This is pretty cool because it does uh, decimals and breaks up into the fraction, which is nice. It has some options, which I'll go into. It does have a port where you can plug it into a power supply so you don't have to change the batteries. It's the two. 2032 batteries I think it is. So I'm going to see how long it lasts. It does automatically shut off or well, you can turn it off but it will shut off on its own and the wiring's not perfect yet. So let me set the camera here. I'll show you how I mounted it. Drone tip, two little four millimeter screws on the table. And to make life easier, I should just drill access hole around the outside the shield to get the Allen wrench long ways into the pole so it's quicker but I'm planning to really ever take this apart if ever. So you can see I designed the shield to slide in there so you don't have to unbolt the whole way because that take forever. And I'll show you my quick setup on that. Basically found a block of wood in the wood shop how thickness I needed. Put it in there and use some clamps and my piece of metal and just clamp it all down and use this other block of wood to bang it in place. So, quick little shield, nothing fancy, but exactly what I wanted. And I did break my blade on my bandsaw here. See there, I finally broke a blade. On the thinnest piece of metal possible. I don't know how I did it, but it caught. So I have to take that apart, fix the blade. So. And 
these little four millimeter Elm stainless steel screws. I use the same ones basically underneath the table for my positive stops. So I can't crash the, the scale here. So that's right underneath, it's basically right where my finger is underneath. So like I said, I lost an inch basically. to space out the scale and I designed the thickness of the spacer in this bolt to space it out because I knew I'd be building a shield to tuck underneath it. showing you. So this is the space I made to space out the plate. I had to make this little mountain plate. And it's basically got the right size bolt. Put a nut on there to at the exact spot. Basically red lock tight it in there and the wire goes over the bolt and basically stays there so the wire is not even moving when the scale is moving not the wire so there's no worry about the wire wearing away and I probably just tie it up around the back of the scale here so it sticks off a little bit so all I had to do is basically let's see join tap a hole here join tap a little hole there and I used a uh, for the reader, I just use one of the holes for the uh, steady rest or follow rest mount that the factory had in there. And like I said, just put two stops underneath the table so I don't crash it. That's it. Nice and easy. And, um, you don't have to see me throw it back together because you saw me take it apart. So, quick video. Um, I'll try. I got this, of course, from Amazon. I'll try to find the. Uh, snapshot screenshot the one I bought so you can see it it's fairly um, inexpensive like I said I wanted about an inch two more inches of travel but the next size up was six eight inches more so I couldn't even fit it on the table without sticking way off so I didn't want to do that so this will work for me and uh, I'll talk to you later Okay, if I can come back quickly. So basically what I do is I just take the hot melt glue gun and put a little strain relief where the wire goes and so if it does get pulled, it doesn't pull it, break it, it flex a little bit. And I just did a quick little wire tie to the bracket. So this wire is securely in there. And like I say it it rides away from everything so no worries there so basically it goes back together pretty easy Put the spacer in there Snug it down and slide the little space of washer. You probably don't need this space there because I put the cover on there, but 
If I drop the washer in, I might not need the spacer. But I still like having it in there. Just a little pain, pain in the butt to get it in there. All these little things are small. Snack that up. Come to this side of here. See what do this without knocking the camera over. Slip the cover and it's underneath the table so it's flush. Oh, it's low so it's plenty of clearance. That's it. Fits this machine okay, not perfect, but the best I could find for it. So y'all have a good day.